I saw the picture of Homer, I knew that I had to do something. And I don't always get this personal because I really try to keep it about the dogs. But recently our family has gone through a tragedy. And more importantly, my wife and her family because my wife lost her little brother unexpectedly. And so when you see a picture of Homer and everything he's been through, you wanna help because there's pain. And in my experience, giving back, especially with a dog, can help heal. If you've ever felt that way, if you've been in pain and, and you wanna help a dog, uh, or, or your, something in your heart is just telling you that you have to go help, you can do that, you don't have to wait. You can volunteer, you can foster, you can adopt. The thing to do is just to get started. So come along with me on this journey. We're gonna go meet Homer, we're gonna see if we can help, and let's go meet Homer. Right now we're in Tehachapi, California at Marley's Mutt's Dog Rescue. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that talkative bunch right there is a group of seniors at Camp Golden Years. I'm going to tell you more about that, but first, let's go meet up with my friend, Joel Rocky. You run the Camp Golden Years, so For tell sure, people yeah. what Camp Golden Years is. It's uh, uh, it's really cool. <laughs> yeah, I am the drool sergeant at Camp Golden Years, and uh, it's, it's my job to kind of keep the old dogs in order, uh, make sure that they're kind of up to par on their, their training. All the dogs back there right now are, are looking for, for home. So can we see Camp Golden Years? Uh, I think I'll allow that. Okay, yeah. all right, let's go check it out, It's drill normally sergeant. pretty top secret, but right. uh, today, today I'll allow it. We oh go. my goodness. <laughs> Okay. Hi. I should have brought treats. What was I thinking? Absolutely. Oh, hi. Hi. <laughs> so what's your average age here? Uh, I would say probably average is about eight. Essentially, the, the program started just to, to be another way to, to kind of continue service. So when I got out of the military, I was like, I needed to keep doing something of value. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I had an old dog that I rescued, and I was like, this is it. What is this? Well, when you first come in here, you got to make sure you're you're armed uh, because uh, old dogs are no joke. Yeah. We're on the uh, front lines of fun here at Camp Golden Ears. <laughs> okay. So, uh, so you got some uh, some tennis balls. Okay, naturally. You got some treat grenades right here. Fire these off. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. All right, let's take let's take them over there. The thing is the the thing is is uh, since they're old dogs, yeah, very few of them will run towards them. So. Who's this right here? Oh, this is McGruber. McGruber is ready. Okay, here we go. All right, McGruber. All right. All right. Three, two, two one. McGruber! Yeah. <laughs> Bubs and Bubs has his drill sergeant bib on. Drool sergeant. Oh, dro drool sergeant. <laughs> drool sergeant. Yeah, that's right. Oh my God, <laughs> I love this. I really appreciate you sharing all about Camp Golden Years, your story, yeah. and I would love if we could to try and walk Homer and see if he'll walk yeah. or or see. Up and I think he'll take to you. So okay. Let's let's hope. Let's try. Yeah. Let's try. Yeah. Okay. Let's do it. So normally when you meet a dog, especially in a shelter, like your first yeah. reaction is to go up and, and you want to put your fingers in the kennel first. Don't do that. <laughs> yeah, for sure, yeah. Yeah, it, but but you want to go up and you want to make a connection with a dog. With a dog who's been feral, that that is likely the last thing you want to do because it just creates fear. You don't want to make eye contact. You know, you just, you want to pull back. So it's why uh, Joel and myself are kind of standing back right now and not putting a lot of pressure 
to um, allow him to be more curious is best. Yeah. yeah, but we, you know, we're here for Homer right now. Tell me this story from the beginning. Right, well, How'd you find him? He had a what it looked to be like barbed wire wrapped around him, and a whole neighborhood trying to get this dog. Um, for weeks. For for weeks. In okay. fact, he was probably out there for months. Yeah. Uh, but he was terrified, and obviously, yeah, yeah, dog, yeah. any dog trapped is going to be terrified. But more so him, because he's also at that point. Uh, this was getting tighter and tighter. It's painful. Around. Yeah, it was just cinching down around his waist, and it was embedded into his skin. He's bloody, and he just it was terrible. I think that's the part that just breaks my heart because a lot a lot of times in these situations, dogs are fearful, and so they're they're scared of humans. They don't want to be around humans. He likely has been mistreated, uh, and so so he's already concerned with humans. For sure. Now he has pain. So there's pain and fear, and anytime he's scared and he runs, it it digs that pain into him, and it's just like a, it's just a double whammy. Yeah, like what are you gonna do if you're? I mean, if you're in the same situation, you know, if you were terrified of something, like he's terrified of humans, but the only thing that help you is something you're terrified yeah. of, like yeah, yeah, he's not gonna come up to anybody. No, it's just a, it's a really unfortunate situation. Oh, you can tell, you can see, he's just a little nervous. Every road that we know how to take is lost. We've worn out the mystery Every answer that's harder to face I trust, trust to be good for me Every time that we fall and I'm known enough Homer is scared, and rightfully so. He has no reasons to trust humans. And so it's gonna be a journey, it could take weeks and months even, to show him that he can trust again. And I know he wants to, he has a curiosity in his eyes. And see, right there, it looks like he's smiling, but having worked with dogs that have gone feral before, he's actually really stressed. That panting is stress. His eyes and the pupils are dilated. His, his face is really tight. He's worried. So I just wanted to sit with him and just slowly get a little bit closer so that he knows it's going to be okay. Looking into my heart gone through a journey like this with Blossom, a hoarding dog, where it took us six months. So we can give him as much time as he needs. So, and I think Flip will love him. Is that a yes? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. Okay, buddy. That's excellent. You're coming home with us. We're gonna start this new, new chapter. I, you know what, dude, I like, Huge thank you to you. Obviously, you, you saved his life. Well, yeah. I mean, you know, you got to do what you got to do, and I'm glad that you guys are stepping in. It's really a team. It's teamwork. It really is. To teamwork. be honest with you, um, he's he needs a lot more than what I can give him right now. Yeah. Got all the old farts in the back. You know? <laughs> and he does need uh, he needs that relationship with you guys. So. Okay, so here's what I need from all of you. I need you to leave a comment down below of love and support, and I will make sure that I read all of those comments to Homer. He will he will feel that love. So I'll read every single one of them to us. So leave a comment down below for Homer, and hit that like button uh, for Homer, and let's let's go on this journey together. Going on this journey with Homer isn't going to be easy. It'll be long nights. He needs to be potty trained. He's got to have a surgery, maybe multiple surgeries. It's gonna require a lot of patience. I'm gonna need support from all of you. I'm gonna need my wife's help. It's a team effort. But if there's one thing that I've learned from going on these journeys with dogs, is that usually when you're hurt and you're in pain and you reach out to help others, the healing can begin. So what I'm hoping is that this journey will also help my wife in the healing process. And I want you to know that if you're watching this and you're hurting, you can come along on this journey as well. Homer, here's to you, buddy. I know this is scary, but I promise you, you will never be tied up again. You will never be tortured, neglected, or left behind. From this point on, you will be loved. Love.